Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be why you must outweigh and outwit women if you want to meet, date, and seduce the type of women you've always wanted. Well, er earlier today, I was actually talking to two different phone coaching clients of mine, and they obviously were struggling with this concept a little bit. Now, the first guy that I was talking to, he's very successful, very successful business owner. He's in his mid-40s, and he's one of the girls he's been dating is a girl, I think she's 22 years old, so she's really young. And so he's hanging out, hooking up with her, sleeping with her, and the two of them are both very open about the fact that he's dating and sleeping with other women, and she's dating and sleeping with other men. And one of the things that she keeps telling him is that he's basically she says you're too old for me you know when i get to be your age you'll be much older and you know if we're going to start a family and have kids i don't want you dying before me which is understandable and so basically the point being is that she still is sleeping with them even though she says that she says you're too old for me and yet she still sleeps with them so he's doing a lot of things right with her but the problem is, is that mentally, she's think she's got an idea in her head of what she wants. But because my client is doing enough things right with her emotionally, her heart has overruled her head. Well, last week when I was talking to him, she's been basically backing away because obviously the, the more he's been dating her, the more he's getting into her, and the more he wants to be around her. And the problem is, is that he's too easy, he's too available, and he's pursuing too much. Because you know, I talk to this particular client once a week, and he just pursues too much. I always say a good rule of thumb is 70 to 80% of the pursuing, you want it to be done by the woman. Why? Because if she's chasing you, she can't be getting rid of you. And that's the best way to handle it. And, I, and what I teach is, is when a woman contacts you, I mean, think about it this way. Why do women spend all the time putting war paint on or makeup or going to getting their nails done or spending two hours getting their hair done or going to the tanning salon or trying on five different fucking outfits before you come and pick her up for the date or you meet her out someplace for the date or when she's sitting there talking to you and she's playing with her hair, she's twirling around her fingers or she calls you or she texts you. These are all signs that she likes you. And she's hoping, like when women call you, they're hoping that you'll take the initiative and make a date. But what most guys do is they sit and they talk on the phone forever until she gets bored and ends the conversation because they're so happy to be talking to her. But what they don't realize is they're actually talking her right out of having a date with them. Why? Because they told her everything that's going on in their lives. So why should she get together for a date when she already knows what they've been doing the past week? So what I teach and what I learned when I was figuring this stuff out from the people that taught me was that you use the phone. It's just like in sales. If you happen to be in the sales business, the phone, texting, email, all that stuff is simply to set up a date, not to give out information, not to have a relationship, not to have a phone ship with somebody. The bottom line is you have a relationship with someone by actually being with them face to face. And so what I told my client to do is, like last week, I told him to back off and do nothing. Just wait until you hear from her. Well, by Friday, I talked to him every Tuesday, and three days later, he couldn't take anymore. He texted her to see if she wanted to meet out for happy hour, because that's usually what, what he does. He'll text her and she'll meet him out. Well, the problem is, is that her interest level has been dropping as his interest level has been going up and he just simply has not been exercising enough self-control to hang back and outweigh her enough and give her the space for her feelings and her interest level to slowly rise. Instead, it's just like putting a cake in the oven and then opening the door before it's done and then it just goes and totally deflates. Not only does the cake deflate, but it deflates the sexual tension when you do, which is basically what he's doing in the relationship. 
And since she's dating other guys at her own age, she feels, hey, I can always call him and hit, you know, he'll because he, he's called her four different times or four different occasions over the past weekend. He's tried to get her together and do something, and she's turned him down without naming a counter offer. And a counter offer is basically when you ask a woman out and you say, how about Wednesday? And she'll say, well, I can't Wednesday, I'm busy. And if she doesn't say anything, she doesn't give a counter offer. A counter offer is basically when you say, when she says, I can't do it Wednesday, but how about Thursday? I'm free at seven or whatever. Women help you when they like you. And so these are subtle things that you need to be listening for when you're talking on the phone to a woman or you're trying to set a date or you're texting. And so what I've told my client is like, you keep doing what you're doing and you're going to get to the point where she'll just stop returning your phone calls and your texts. And you'll completely blow it. Or she'll give you the let's just be friends speech. And so my other client, he's very successful. And he's got three or four different women that he's hanging out and hooking up with. But he's got this one gal that he's known for a while. And this was be- he's known her before since before we- I started coaching him. So he did a lot of things wrong with her in the beginning. And so what he's he overthinks things. And I, what you got to do is you simply... When a woman contacts you, she just your job as a man is just to simply create an opportunity, a romantic, fun-filled opportunity for sex to happen. And in this particular case, he's hung out and gone gone to dinner a lot of times with this girl, but he's afraid that if he invites her over, like he does with the other women, he's just hanging out and hooking up with the friends with benefits, so to speak, that she'll say no. I was like, dude, you're giving yourself blue balls, and plus she's dating another or seeing another guy or she's seeing other men i should say and it's like it's fucking irrelevant when she's not with it's like what i always say is my life's a drama free zone and i don't care about the other guy that you're dating or the boyfriend that you're still kind of seeing that you broke up with because my attitude is i don't have any competition you know i always just say things like hey you know i don't care about him he can keep you busy when you're with me I mean, the bottom line is if you're doing everything right, she's going to eventually blow those other guys off and choose only you anyways. And so in this case with a second client of mine, I was like, dude, you're overcomplicating things. She's calling and she's texting you and then you're taking her out to dinner and then you're not going anywhere else with that. I was like, at this point, you've known this gal for six months or longer. It's like all you have to do is just invite her over. Do the same thing you do with the other girls. Invite her over. Just say, hey, grab a bottle of wine. And come on over. We'll run to the store and grab some food to cook with. Or grab a bottle of wine and I'll have some hors d'oeuvres at the house. And we'll just hang out and have a good time. Because they go out together and they usually end up getting trashed together anyways. And then end up having to take a, a, a taxi home. It's so like, just have her come over to your place. And she gets a little tipsy. And then you guys start fooling around just like you do with the other women. And then it ends up in the bedroom. The key is you got to treat all women the same. And a big mistake guys make is they treat women that they like differently than the ones that they're kind of so-so with. And so if you treat them all the same, if you have kind of the same system, then you set it up to where you got two or three different women coming over every week. They come over, they hang out at your house, you hang out, you hook up, maybe they stay the night, maybe they don't. And then you just keep dating and having fun until you meet a woman that just totally knocks your fucking socks off and who feels the same way about you. In the meantime, you just have a really great time until you meet that one special lady. And so it's a dance. It's an art. Just keep that in mind. When a a gal contacts you, set the date, get the fuck off the phone, say, oh, perfect, I'll see you then. Make definite plans. I'll put some links on this page to some other articles that are really useful that will help you set a definite date so she doesn't break it. And so if you appreciate the value of the information in this video, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar at the bottom of your screen if you're watching this video on my website and click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this page with all your friends and family by clicking any any one of the social network sharing buttons which are also located on the Wibia toolbar. And if you have a question that you want to ask me or a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video newsletter, then click the Contact Me tab, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me several paragraphs detailing your situation or your questions, and give me several days to get back to you with a detailed response. 
And if you'd like to book a paid phone coaching session with me personally so I can help you out with a specific situation or a life coaching issue, if you want to change career or start that business you've always wanted, then click the Products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions to book a paid phone coaching session with yours truly. And I will talk to you soon.